Hello, I hope each of you is doing well. Hello, world. How are you doing, friends? I am very excited for today because, as you know, I really always look around and I try to find really interesting and great people to come on our show. And uh, today it's not going to be any different. Uh, our special guest, actually, uh, she is a returning guest because I'm a true believer, like I like to say to a lot of people, okay, this is just the beginning of our friendship and this is just the beginning of us uh, getting to know, uh, you know, our community. Uh, and uh, my very special guest today, her and I, actually, we are going to celebrate very soon one year since I had the opportunity to photograph her. And in a wonderful way, she completely, uh, you know, changed my life, which the way I see it, you know, you change Vasi's life, you give her freedom, you give her, uh, you know, a better life, you give her more sleep, which until last year was an issue, was getting up 3, 30 to 4, 30, at least 3 to 4 mornings a week. And nowadays, I'm living, uh, I'm living my life, I'm living my dream uh, and together we create Pet Peaks World. So I'm very, very excited. So uh, Liachi was referred to me, you know, she, she, you know she, she came to me to photograph her. Actually, I'm lucky to live only one and a half hours away from her. Uh, and I would say, depending on the traffic, because uh, in Miami, things are slightly different. Uh, and Liat also, she is very a special person. So in this episode, I just want to say, please be open-minded. You know, I this may not be for everyone, but I know that for the people who um, believe and want to have better life according to their comprehensions and style, this may resonate with them. Uh, and yes, all of us, we are united by the love and uh, passion for our fur babies uh, because Liat herself, uh, she is uh, the lucky mom of Thor. So Thor, very often he comes and pop in, you know, while her and I, we work together. Uh, and, uh, you know, she's amazing. You know, she's also the founder of LMC Healing Life with Purpose and so much more. But without further ado, uh, I want to introduce you and welcome you to Liat. So how are you doing, Liat? I'm so excited you are back uh, with us in the show. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Vasi. I'm so excited to be back as well. <laughs> oh, my God. And for those of, uh, people who don't know, so we already have like a couple of podcast episodes. And this is the reason also, I mean, you were a part of our um, Women Empowering event, which we did a few months ago. Uh, and that's why actually, friends, you can see the magazine I just quick reminder magazine number five bird issue it's not in amazon yet but uh liat was highlighted in one of our magazine um she created this amazing meditation and etc which we'll talk about it a little later but so let's assume no one really listen any of the stuff you're new to their life so can you tell us a little more about your story why you do what you do and what exactly do you do because some people may not know Okay, Vasi, thank you so much. Um, you know, before I start uh, talking about myself, um, I will tell you a secret. You know, one of my one of my uh, dreams that I imagined for a while is uh, being uh, interviewed by uh, a public figure, influencer, and look at that wow thank you it's so funny you know in my head i i don't really see myself uh this way i just i and i keep reminding it even i keep saying to you i'm just a little vasi here uh but it's uh, interesting like things the way they have been working out over the past few months it's like people were so grateful they're like vasi thank you for giving us the platform I'm like the only thing in my head i do is just to uh, to have the opportunity and the honor to interview and share with the world your story, especially when you're a pet parent. Uh, so, but thank you so much. It's about, you know, what we do for people we love, we care, and for the four babies. That's all about. Right, right. Absolutely. So my name is Liat. I'm Israeli. I, I was born in Israel. I'm a spiritual healer and a uh, certified uh, holistic uh, practitioner um, with the bioergonomy, bioenergy college in Israel. 
Um, in my uh, studies, I completed several uh, professional, uh, which part of it is the bio business. The bio business is about uh, business healing, spiritual healing, changing basically the frequencies of the business. It's working with, uh, it, it, it's, it goes to, you know, entrepreneurs, uh, small businesses, people that, uh, that uh, have their dream, but they don't see it in the reality yet. Like there is no merge between the dream and reality. Um, also relationship, relationship between, uh, meaning, uh, you know, sessions between a couple. Um, Bionumerology, which is everything behind uh, the energy behind numbers and structure of the bones, which is more related to physical uh, disease. And um, yeah, and um, recall healing. Recall healing is basically finding the conflict behind any uh, disease. To every disease, there is a name behind it. And when we find the conflict, we release out uh, the energy that was stored in our body. That's why healing process uh, occurs um and that's in you know in uh, about uh you know my my certification and professionals um just in few words i would like to say that uh, bioergonomy is, is is based on frequency healing um which is the the, the energy field of a person now the energy field is the, the basic biological functioning of, of, of the person. And those fields, the energy fields are electromagnetic, okay? That keep the synchronicity of all parts of us, body, mind, and spirit. And when there is a uh, imbalance between these all, all three components in us, that's where uh, starting all the, you know, all the symptoms that eventually are diagnosed as uh, a disease. A very interesting, um, you know, what you do uh, and just, you know, how many people around the globe you have helped, you know, that's what it's, uh, you know, I, I mean, I'm a true believer, you know, what you do, as you know, you know, you and I, we work together. I mean, very soon, you know, we are going to have one year anniversary. <laughs> uh, and it's very, like, I remember the la the first time when, you know, my friend, our friend, uh, you know, Limor, she said, oh, do you know Liad? I'm like, huh? and then you came and I was like so nervous I'm like oh my gosh she's coming to my home studio I mean like what should I expect and then I remember you know you gave me the first session and friends as you know I'm a very um, open person I'm a very transparent person and that's why I say you can we believe in whatever we want to believe you know again what unites us are four babies uh, but just uh, you know you help me to uh, see my potential and to completely transition my life even to a simple thing like uh you know uh, cutting down on sugar I mean one day you ask me Vas, do you want to have more energy and considering the 39 years I was eating so much sugar and I said well is it worth it to have more energy and to be able to achieve more in a way to help my, my pet pigs world community i said it's worth it on the next day i went to go to turkey and even my family they were like so you're going to you're not going to have a piece of cake and like yeah but they, that's vastly not like you and i'm like i know because it's the me and you it's you know and now when i drink my coffee there it's no honey anymore it's just cinnamon and, and my husband like what do you mean you don't drink sugar you don't have honey I'm like I don't you know and one of the simple things of what you have done and by the way hi to everyone who is watching live if you have any questions drop them in the chat and again this is just first like not the first time but Liat will be back 
And so when you told me, because I asked you, so what exactly this type of training? And I remember, and I actually want to show to people, you know, the book here, uh, the books. And you came in the studio with all of those books and they were from like a relationship to body, to, uh, you know, to also childhood, to business. And each of these friends, those are different types of practices. Uh, and it's very interesting experience. Even when you came a few weeks ago for us to celebrate our uh, pet pig's uh, bir third birthday and you read what's the number five meaning. I mean, it's it was very interesting. So... Uh, you know, people can be be gifted, but on top of it, going through a special training to back it up with it, you know, uh, it, it's really fascinating. And uh, what else kind of you want to share with us about your unique story? Um, you know, like, and I know that today, one of the things for sure we are going to talk about is meditation, uh, because I also remember when I asked you, so can you explain to me because I didn't know how to photograph you. I'm like, how do I photograph what you do? I mean, you can't explain it. Some people cannot comprehend it. And you and you and I remember specifically taking the picture of you with medit with you know like workout calls and you know in the pose of meditation. But just what else you want to tell people about you, and then we can jump into meditation. Okay. So um, first of all, I will just explain a little bit about what LMC healing is. What yes, is please. Healing, what? So I LMC healing. It's it's my name, LMC healing, and again, talking about dreams, talking about visualization, talking about wanting to bring into fruition what you really are dreaming of. Uh, and want to manifest. So it was uh, my dream to put my part of uh, making a difference in the world. So I came with LMC healing, which is a concept that combine all the tools that I have with, of course, we cannot ignore it, all the gifts that, that I was received from creation when I came to this world, uh, I wouldn't lie, I was ignoring it uh, when I was uh, a little girl, when I was younger, but I knew already that there is something in me, something that uh, is out there that I need to share with the world. We should always share our gifts. And what I noticed is, is the power of, the power that I had to manifest things, the knowledge that I already came to the world with it. And I had like, few incidents in my life where I, I saw a situation where it's going to end up very bad through my mind, through my intellect, that I gave it a different story, a different meaning, a different ending, and it ended differently the way I saw it. And wow. I know that each one of us have this ability. It's, yes. not, it's not unique to one person. The... The differences we see between people, someone has disability, the other one has disability, is uh, not, it not, not because better or, or less. It's about each one comes with something and needs to share with the others and help the others with what they have or don't have, etc. And it's about evolving as well. So I understood that with this gift, I need to help others, help them manifest their own dreams. Because for me, it's very easy to see it. So LMC healing is a combination of, of whatever I, I bring as a spiritual healer, as well as coaching. I know where to, what to touch with all the information that I receive uh, related to the soul, uh, you know, language. And the most important part, which is what everything behind the healing medicine, which is going to the root cause. The root cause is what, what, uh, what made uh, the, 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 the sickness to come or, or any blockages in someone's life, limiting thoughts, and just overriding this seed, the seed that was planted. Let's give you an, uh, an example. Even in the moment of conception of, of, of a baby, 
there is a moment where the couple are thinking about something that could influence the rest of the baby's life. That's the seed. But we can always go back to the seed because everything is happening at the present moment and overriding that seed to create a different life, different mm -hmm. outcome. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. And I would even simplify it more. So a lot of you friends have read the book, The Secret, or maybe watched the movie. So practically it's the same, uh, you know, so it has been around for a long time. You know, we just call it different words and different ways, uh, but practically it's, yeah, you just, and, and it's so funny because even when I teach, I mean, when I interview people don't really know because I don't talk about it. I'm in the middle of live stream and managing many platforms at the same time. But when I teach my students in our membership, I even tell them, I'm like, I'm going to show it to you, but I'm sorry, I cannot say the word. I just, I cannot pronounce it because the moment when I say it, I am, I have a chance to make it happen in a way that I maybe didn't want. So if there is something I don't want, like, as we know, I mean, we are still in October month, but I will be actually even more. And, you know, we, you know, it's the pink month. Well, when I was teaching uh, my students on how to implement pink ribbons to their pictures and the shades of pink and how to pick the right ribbon, I said, I apologize. I just cannot say this word. And, and, and they understood me very well. So like, and, and I know by default, and I, I was one of these people. I mean, I'm like, I can't even say it, but okay, this is just for your friends. So just, I will scratch it later. Let's say I keep saying, I was saying, I don't have time, right? I, I mean, I have two businesses. I mean, I'm one human. Uh, but then I said, well, when I say I don't have time, I'm projecting, I'm really not going to have time. So now it's a different story. I wake up. Because Mliat makes sure she's like, Vasi, you have to change your words. And I'm like, I have time. Life is so beautiful. You know, and when things happen, not according to my willings, right? Let's say a client called me the last minute, they canceled to me. I'm like, oh, thank you so much. I have more time. I can, you know, so I can create, you know, let's say the pet uh, Halloween event, or I can create, you know, the upcoming magazine issue or, or whatever it's else. So it's, 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 it's a simple way of comprehending it. If you like to, again, friends, this is completely up to you. Like I like to say, uh, like even like, let's say we have a nutrition approach uh, for your pet, and then we have a vet, you know, for your pet. So we just bring it to you as our awareness, it's completely your choice on which approach you'd like to get and what works the best for you. Uh, but I'm excited. That's the reason why I was so excited that Liat said, and listen, Liat is actually a pretty busy woman because she helps people from all around the world. And I cannot tell you so many times, it's like, even when she came to our Pet Pig's birthday celebration, after she had the session because she, and then in the morning, sometimes she would have a session at seven because she sees people from Europe and they are six, seven hours ahead. Some people were 12 hours ahead. Some people were seven hours behind. You know, it's the beauty of uh, being able to be connected <laughs> virtually. Um, so what do you think? That's a, that's, that, that, that's a really, uh, you know, a dream to be able to work with people around the world and, and help as much as possible. Thank you so much, Vasi. And, you know, hearing you and listening to, to the words you're saying about, you know, that you learn not to put energy in what you don't want, uh, but only in what you want. It's like, wow, like it's so satisfied to see that you know it's like wow i did something i did something and yeah you listen and you are an amazing 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 uh you know uh you observe observe it's like everything that you can that uh that to learn to to change you do you do and when we talk about changes it's so important to understand by the end of the day, what is those changes? It's frequencies. It's all about frequency and vibration. What is vibration? It's the language of the universe. It's like we all mistaking by saying that, for example, you know, I really don't care. Uh, Vasi, I'm okay, I'm fine. I'm fine, everything is okay. 
but inside my vibration is saying something else. And we think that when we say something, that's okay, but it's what vibrating in us. So even if I say on the outside, oh, I'm fine, I'm okay, everything is great, but in side I'm vibrating something else the universe is reading this this language that's why it's important to change the frequency to those that you are you want not those that you don't want because the universe will always get your language there is a difference between I'm here or I'm here that's the vibration and it's funny, you, see, you mentioned we are celebrating a whole year. It seems like it's, it was yesterday, but at the same time, we went, we went through so much together that it's like uh, to 10 or 20 years of, of uh, life grow. Wow. That's, uh, wow, thank you. Wow. And people, they don't really know too much about me. I mean, they, they see what they see the, the final result, but, and you can tell them the the thing, what's my priority? It's truly the happiness of people with their fur babies. And I personally see myself uh, as kind of the ambassador of the, the love and the connection between people and fur babies. But it's not only like when I was a photographer, I'm still a photographer, but like, I just felt that, okay, helping 40 rescue organizations and it's it's kind of, I can do better. So then I said, well, I would do Pet Picks Academy so I can teach people. Well, that was better, right? But now since we completely went global uh, and we really showcase people and stories, from all the world, I am, I am friends. I feel very responsible in a way that I, I am going to make sure that whoever comes to our platform and like, like a shield, like a, like a mama, uh, like they need to be good people, good professionals, you know, of course, according to your comprehensions and, and understanding, uh, and there are people who I feel, no, they're not good for our community. I'm so sorry. You might be a professional. You may be very talented, but I just don't think you're a good fit for my people, for our people, for our community. So my, and, and, and Bileat, she knows in the middle of the day, I would just go for a walk to see the birds and my, I'm thinking already 2023, what new I can bring to unite, how many ways we can figure out new ways to fundraise money and help pet parents and pet communities and pet professionals on a global level. It's not only, and, and even you remember when I said, but what, until a few months ago, I myself didn't know what was pet pics. I didn't know what is these pet pics, why I have these passions and desires of um, bringing pet fashion and, and highlighting risk and doing fundraising events. But then on top of it, working with businesses, and then one day, I remember you helped me. I was photographing that event, that uh, community from the 1920s. And finally, it clicked. And I asked you, is this the truth? She, you said yes. But without you, pet pics wouldn't look the same way it looks today. And it's going to look tomorrow, any five years from now. Thank you so much. That's so flattering. That's so beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so much for a lot of people. But it's okay. It's okay. We are a community for people who really love, like who are open to, to really live in happiness. That's all about. It doesn't matter. Is it universe or whatever else you want to call it? Just be happy. Love yourself. You know, give yourself at least two minutes a day. You know, uh, Live for yourself, because if you are happy, then the people around you and the fur babies around you will be happy. That's all. This is the pure core of everything. Are you happy? And how you can share the happiness with your two and four legs loved ones. That's all about. With mm -hmm. simple words. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Our energy flow, our vitality is influenced by the way we think about ourselves and about our friends and people and how we treat the world. And the more we are aligned with, with, uh, with, with what called the energy of love, 
the better we become, the better our life become, the healthier we become, we cannot run away from it. So, you know, it's not even about the choice. It's not even about the choice. It's a way of living. It's a way of living. And um, the most important part that we didn't talk about, which is part of the LMC healing as well, which we're going to talk is uh, meditations. And uh, meditation is something that we cannot take uh, take for granted, as well as you know, I think that one of the one of the common denominator of all the successful people in the world, the ones that we know, is meditation. They are meditating. You know, one of the the famous um, books that were that were written about wealth is a book by Napoleon Hill, uh, um, Think and Grow Rich. Uh, he had another book that called um, The Law of Success, which he was talking about meditation uh, mostly in the book, while he was relating it to the most successful people on the planet. Those people were meditating. There is something very strong with meditation. Very, very strong. It's not about... It's not only about sitting and, and, and doing and not doing anything or detaching, but if people re would really know the power of meditation, all the people in the planet would meditate, all of them. But we cannot understand and comprehend it through our physical senses, because if we would, then it would go through the filters of the intellect. We would sit and meditate with expectations. So it cannot touch the spiritual. Meditation changed my life totally. And this is one of the fundamental things that I'm working with uh, with all my clients all over the world, which is meditation. Um, I'm making sure that they will that they will meditate. And, and I'm talking to them about the importance. And of course, I'm guiding them in every session uh, with meditation that is very unique to them. What they I love it. I love it. And it is absolutely true. I actually have to confess here. It's that a few, um, few years ago when my sister, because my sister jumped on this uh, journey before me and every one of my cl clients, they kept saying, oh, we meditate. We meditate. I'm like, huh? So you meditate. Okay. What's special about meditation? And I have to be honest with you, friend, I'm still learning in myself. That's very new to my life. Hi to everyone who is jumping live. Hi, friends. Please share. And so we are talking about meditation and how important it is in connecting for babies and, you know, our lives and you important. And we have our special guest today, Liat, with us, who is a, you know, spiritual healer. And so um, I just couldn't comprehend. I'm like, what are you talking about and then the next thing i know i'm in the middle of doing stuff and i and i am not even productive and i know that a lot of people will relate to this you reach the point of the day when you feel very overwhelmed and you're not productive so what do we do you know uh you just turn on the music hug your baby hopefully your baby's around you and you just meditate or find the different shapes and forms of meditation, which, you know, uh, works for you. And I can tell you, I asked Liat a few months ago when we created, I think that you were featured in magazine issue number three, you know, right now, which was only the digital version. I mean, the number four, it's the paper copy. And now we are still waiting in Amazon to have number five. It's not there yet. And you created this meditation, uh, you know, for, for our community and i already dropped this in the chat friends uh again um you know and i will just play only the first part of it this moment 
bless this opportunity. Reunite with nature. With the great forces of nature. One of them is the path that is leaning next to you right now. Imagine those beautiful moments when you spend time with your pet. Be grateful for this heart opening experience. Imagine how beautiful life is with your pet in it. And how precious this moment is while you can thank your pet and your pet can thank you for coming to their life for sharing moments I love it for this gift I love it and of course I dropped already friends the link I mean it's four minutes and a half. Uh, but this is the beautiful things, you know, and you created this specifically for our community. Uh, so you have, you know, friends, uh, free access to it in YouTube. You can watch it. And I would definitely encourage you uh, to uh, share it with pet, your pet lovers. Um, but I want to ask you, Liat, I mean, other than I ask you to come up with something in you, just like you did it like, oh, like for a few hours, it, it was amazing. Um, did you also get inspired by your doggy tour? Mr. Thor? What a beautiful question. And I was thinking about it right now, totally. And I think Thor uh, changed my life, really. You know, when when Thor came to my life, I thought that I was already in some kind of journey. And then I realized that I, that I wasn't. That's why I created that meditation, because there is something very u- unique with this relationship between uh, between. Uh, uh, the the pet and and uh, the owner and it, there is something uh, there is energy and I'm and I'm saying it for fact there is energy with with uh, communication that is not verbal communication as I said before uh, about uh, vibrations and it felt like he brought so much healing into my life and so much awareness that once. You meditate and you open up to the circuits of, you know, of the universe. You go uh, like for, uh, to the bigger picture. And if you do it with your pet, it's like even more, more, wow, extraordinary. It's like mind blowing. You can really have something there that, uh, that when you get up, it's like you're not the same person anymore. Totally. Okay. I love this. I love this. And uh, I mean, a lot of you friends who uh, know me very well, I'm all about kind of a revolutionary ways on connecting with our fur babies. And this is the reason why I was so honored today, because when Liat and I, we talked and she asked me, so Fasi, what should we talk about? I mean, believe me, we meet, when we meet, we, we kind of stay quite a bit, uh, you know, time because there are so many interesting things we can discuss and et cetera. I said, well, how about we talk about meditating with your fur baby? And because we know, okay, we love our fur baby. We watch movies. We go for a walk. They sleep next to us. You know, we go to restaurants, pet fashion shows. So we have different types of experience with our fur babies. But imagine the moments when you recharge your batteries to find this new way and kind of a new and old, because when we go even back to Buddha, you know, like finding a, a new way for you, if you have not experienced it yet, like myself, to connect in a different level and to create a new exciting memories with your fur baby or babies. Because anyway, they will be on your lap, you know, sitting in your lap, 
know, when you pet them, how practically that's all what it is to break it down. Because, you know, I always like to break down the formula to everything for good or bad. And um, it's pretty much, you do the same, like watching a movie, but instead of watching the movie and petting your fur baby, your child, uh, you're just listening music. And you just, like a lot of you do the gratitude list, right? I'm grateful I woke up. I'm grateful I have my fur baby. I'm grateful I have the people I love. I'm grateful I have a good job, whatever. I'm grateful I went for a walk or have, you know, my cup of coffee. Uh, and so I'm grateful for so many things. Well, the same, but you add music to it. And that's kind of simply what's meditation. So you need to kind of decide for yourself, do you feel up to it to add a new journey and to create new memories with your fur babies? And that's, that's how simple it is, you know? And, uh, and I just, I'm, that's why I'm so grateful to Liat for creating it for us. She created the truly inspired by Tor for you. For whoever is listening, this podcast, watching this live, whatever platform it is, because we are on multiple platforms, it's for you. And if you don't think, some people would say, but who I am, what's special about me? Each of you, it's very special. I'm a true believer. We, we are not just born to come to this world just to live. We are born to do something amazing, but we need to own it and embrace it. And that's why you are important. And that's why one thing, even going to the magazine, going to the podcast, going to all the events, it's by what it's to highlight you and your story. Because what that's what matters for people like me and the art. It's you and your babies. So I really hope that this really truly inspires you. And I know that Leah, there are certain things you probably should want to say, but I just want to kind of summarize why this episode is very dear and special to me. It's because on the end of the day, there always will be phone calls, there always will be things, they, and then Torrid's barking here, he's saying, it's okay, <laughs> people know that uh, for babies bark, I mean, that's, we are pet platform. He's talking actually, he, this is his way of, he pitching into the podcast today. Uh, he, is. he is, right, he has things to say. But at the end of the day, they always, like I like to say, and then I will give the floor to uh, Liat, the things which they will happen to us. And you hear me this saying all the time. And in fact, strategically, as we are recording this, it's Friday because I have, I used to like doing uh, inspirational Friday. Just recently, I have been too busy with all the events and magazine creation and photographing, truly. But it's just believe in yourself. So things will happen to you. You have only one choice, how you're going to react to it and how you're going to make the best of it and how you're going to include your fur baby. So do you want to be happy? And do you want to create new memories and experience new things with your fur baby? That's all about. What do you think, Liat? Absolutely. And as I said before, we always have the option, the possibility to change the story, to give it a good end. Always. We have that, uh, we have this multiple opportunity. We just need, it's exactly a question of choices. And, uh, and we need to, you know, we spoke before, we, before we got live, uh, we spoke about calling, callings. And we need to always see what, what the universe is asking us, the callings. So one of them was, whenever I was meditating, he used to come and was just lying down there like, all over and I understood that it's something there that uh, that that is good for him it's good for his frequencies his health as well and because something is happening when we meditate and when we meditate every day something in our vibration changes that's why that's one of the fundamental things that made us different people by uh, eventually something ha happens there so it influenced him in a way and i can tell you one thing i'm not a uh, animal uh communicator but i do hear him sometimes asking me things like a few days ago i was having a session and i heard him uh telling me i'm uh, I, I want to eat i'm hungry i i really heard it i got up i opened the door and it, it, he was there waiting. He knew that I will come even. 
it was like unbelievable wow that's so the moments of uh, of connecting connecting to all nature because we are part of all nature but we we are so much um occupied and busy on a daily tasks that we don't open ourselves to what we can get and hear from the from the nature from animals from all animal kingdom everything it's all connected we are all connected I love it. I love it. And it practically you're talking about the noise, the noise of busy life. And just sometimes when we do need our quiet time. Uh, and uh, I just actually want to give some from my point of view of what you taught me. But my shortcut, it's uh, just uh, friends. It's simple. Have few favorite songs. And I and if when you get tired of them, keep adding and go back to your favorite songs to remind you, OK, do you know what? I need two minutes for myself. Uh, maybe uh, I'm actually going to show it. So last week when I was photographing this big convention with 600 people, they had the 80s, the event. So do you know what? They had bracelet. I got this bracelet. I'm wearing it to remind me to have fun. And don't get so caught up on a daily basis stuff because well, like me, like all of you, I mean, I have a bunch of stuff you need to think of. So you have your own things. It's like even one, uh, seeing, uh, you know, my photography degrees, it reminds me you did it once, twice, your photography degrees. You can do it again. So the big question is for you, friends. And I would say I would encourage you to look at your home, to look at your life. And some people write down, to, that's how they really kind of seek like black and white, uh, write down or just, you know, see and pick the things which would cheer you up for the moments when, you know, because all of us, we go down. I mean, even I have my days. I'm like, I don't want to do life. Uh, I, I can get my, get my, can I cancel all of my sessions? Uh, but then I know that the moment when I listen to my songs and then you rediscover things and I'm like, okay, Vasi, energy up. Go there. It's time to have uh, to make impact. So I that's really much what I will encourage you. I would also suggest you go find Liat again. Uh, I'm going to show you all of her information. It's also below in the description of this video or live or you know podcast you're listening to us. Uh, say hi. You know she can help you. Just check it out. Even if you know that's not what you believe in, it's okay completely. One thing to remember from this episode is just to believe in yourself, to love yourself, to cherish and value yourself. And then, you know, just sometimes listen to music, hugging your fur baby and know that they're your best is, uh, and just to try to find new ways of creating memories. Uh, and pretty much that's it, you know, that's the only thing we I know that Liat and I, we hope you can kind of get out uh, as takeaways from our podcast episode it's just just that's it it's easy and simple the rest of it it's up to you but this i know that every human being uh from around the world it doesn't matter where you have been born where you live what lifestyle you do what you do for living how many pets you have whatever else it is uh is it a cold uh, place or a warm place uh it doesn't these are irrelevant it doesn't really matter so i'm done i'm done and you can you know finish what you like to say and just tell people where they can find you just in one sentence to to just to to end what you just said it's what you feel that matters how you feel that what is the most important that's what we said before about vibration, language. The universe gets what you feel, not what you speak, how you feel. So yes, you have a moment where you feel you're a little bit low. Go put some music and dance, dance, dance. Raise your vibration because everything, you know, even if there is some kind of, of, of challenge, it doesn't stay forever. It doesn't stay forever. Everything is like a flow and it changes and it changes and it changes. And just go out there and make as much as impact and good to all the people around you. It's so easy with a smile, with a good word, with how is your day? How is your day going? The small things 
create a big difference. It's like a ripple effect. It's like a wave of goodness. I love it. I'm into this. I love it. And then friends, you can find Liat, Cohen, Mutsafi or AOMS Healing. You know, uh, you can find her on Facebook and Instagram. You know, this is also like actually a special platform, uh, you know, if you'd like, you know, to kind of, you know, see a little more. But just my encouragement is just, you know, go say hi, uh, you know, to Liat and you can check out uh, some of our other podcast episodes, the Women Empowering event. I mean, our birthday party celebration and just uh, really friends, I'm excited for you. And I hope that while you're creating those uh, new memories, you are going to take some pictures and you are just going to share uh, them with us uh, so we can be a uh, part of your journey because at the end of the day, uh, that's what also brings joy to us. It's you and your fur baby. So enjoy the rest of your day. Give a hug to your baby and just be excited to see, you know, like a new chapter of your life uh, because you matter. You're important and give hug to your baby. So see you soon. Thank you so much, friends. Bye. Bye. <laughs> okay, we are good.